I've got a project here and it will basically listen to what I say and it will sometimes repeat stuff back. Um, but if I ask it questions, it will go and look up the answer. So uh, any simple questions. So that's it started. Say that they started. Echo. Echo. Repeat back what I say. Repeat back what I say. Pause. Pausing for 20 seconds. All right, so at the beginning, if you don't have anything particular that it's looking for, then it'll just repeat back what it thinks you said. So it actually made a mistake at the beginning where it said, say that I started, I said something slightly different. In a moment, it's going to start listening again, and I'm going to ask it some other questions. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Excellent. I lend. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Tell me about iron. Iron is a chemical element with symbol V and atomic number 26. It is a metal that belongs to the first transition series in group 8 of the periodic table. It is by mass the most common element on Earth. It is the fourth most common element in the Earth's crust. Pause. Pausing for 20 seconds. OK, so basically what it's done here is it's actually heard that I said tell me about, and then everything after that word tell me about is, is the search term. So in this case it looked for iron. Um, I'd also looked this one up before to make sure it works, and uh, so that's why the speech response was quite quick. Uh, it didn't have to synthesise all that text, but it's not bad actually. Fatally. It's not bad actually. It's not that actually. It's not bad actually. Not bad, actually. <laughs> Tell me about helium. Ooh. This is a much longer one. And this will probably struggle with the speech around these lists and also the fact that the whole thing is extremely long. It'll, um, it'll do badly. I think it'll probably get, get slightly confused with some of the text. Helium is a chemical element with the symbol E and atomic number 2. It is a colourless, odourless, tasteless, non-toxic, inert, non-atomic gas, the first in the noble. Its boiling point is the lowest among all the elements. Helium is the second lightest and second most abundant element in the observable It's doing all right. It is present at about 24% of the total elemental mass. It is more than 12 times the mass of all the heavier elements combined. Its abundance is similar to this in both the Sun and in Jupiter. This is due to the very high nuclear binding energy of helium-4, with respect to the next three elements after helium. That's not bad. This helium for binding energy also accounts for why it is a product of both nuclear fusion and radioactive decay. Most helium in the universe is helium-4, the vast majority of which was formed during the Big Bang. Large amounts of new helium are being created by nuclear fusion of hydrogen in stars. Stop. Stopping application. Yeah, that's it.